I was actually joking with Heaney on the bench. I was like, this is probably, you know, one of the games you can put in the top ten of your career or whatever. You hit a go-ahead grand slam. And I was like, and there's two guys in this game that had better days today that do it all the time. So, but that's what they do. And, uh, you know, we're trying to win ball games. So, it's all fun. Right there, a base hit ties the game. That's all I was thinking about. But, um, you know, I'd definitely take it. When the team scores eight and gets out to a five-run lead early, the only way you come back is if the bullpen puts up zeros. Because if they scratch and get a, another one in the fifth, another one in the seventh, another one in the eighth, whatever, all of a sudden you don't win. Um, but when they come in and put zeros up and give you a chance, you uh, you can you can do things like this. And um, I mean, really, the credit goes to those guys because if they don't put up zeros, we don't have a chance. Every game right now is is huge. I mean, we're not like full-blown scoreboard watching yet, but you know, you take care of business, you got a chance right now. And so. Um, when uh, when you're when you get a chance to put your head, team ahead late, um, especially with the boy the board, our bullpen's been going, it, it gives you a chance for a W, and it's been fun. This week has been uh, tough. A um, lot of lot of stuff going on back home. Fortunately, my family uh, has been in good shape in Corpus and in in Houston, um, but I have a lot of friends and a lot of um, some other you know. Maybe not direct family, other relatives that, have, you know, one of my my cousin got rescued on a, a jet ski two days ago, um, you know, and so you know stuff like that happened. He's staying at our house now. So when there's stuff like that going on, the the game is kind of a get you know, kind of a getaway to kind of have some fun and, and let your mind off it. But as soon as it's over, you're right back. I mean, I got they're they're joking about my phone and how many texts I got for the Grand Slam, and I said I showed them it, and I have probably 15 text messages, and 12 of them are flood pictures. You know, so it's not, uh, you know, obviously I'm excited when the game comes. It's time to get away and kind of do what I love to do. But then when the game's over, it's kind of back to reality and trying to figure out how we can help. It, it's been incredible. Um, you know, you kind of get uh, some grief, I guess, sometimes as a Texan. People are like, oh, people from Texas always love Texas. Like, you always think everything's bigger and better there. And then you see something like this happen and you're like, I, I think I am proud of it. I think I am. Uh, I do think it is bigger and better there. So um, it has been um, awesome to see the first responders and then just those civilians and regular people that if you had a boat or you had something that could float, they're using it to help take somebody out of a tough situation. And um, those kind of things are, uh, and they give you chills. That's where the, the heroes are. I guess the thing you do is put a sheet on top of your roof or up high. And if they see it, there's helicopters flying around. If they see it, they let people know. And um, you know, I don't know. I didn't get to ask him if he put a sheet up, but he was obviously in a bad enough spot that he let somebody know, and a jet ski came and got him. Jet ski takes you to a um, Coast Guard truck. It's like an army truck that's wading through the water, driving around, and that took him to a bus, and the bus took him to a, a shelter. And then, and then that day we couldn't get him because we couldn't get to him. And then today, my wife was able to take our car and get to him, and she picked him up this morning. He's not sure anymore. He's at the house, but it's just you know, and that's obviously for my family. He got to our house and he's okay, but there's thousands and thousands of stories of people that, you know, it's it's just everyone is kind of dealing with it at some level. It's tough. I mean, afterwards, obviously, kind of, I thought about it afterwards uh, a little bit, but no, I wasn't. Um, I wasn't trying to dedicate it to, to anything like that. I'm just trying to play as hard as I can every night, like I have every time. And sometimes you get them, sometimes you don't. And um, when you have something like this going on, obviously it. It, uh, it feels good because there's a lot of not feeling good away from the field, so um, it's fun, but I wasn't like, you know, throwing up TX when I hit home plate.